last day before school and 50 subscribers left until we're actually reaching the sub goal before I reveal my face. Welcome back guys to the end of another Shadowfy 3 video. Today we're going to be running the final part of the chapter 4 and perhaps a little bit on chapter 5. We're going to kill our economy almost in a way, let's say it that way. We're going to almost kill our economy because you can look at or you can already look at what's up the top right right here. So yeah, if we reach 50 more subscribers guys, I will be doing the face reveal. We're actually on our way after transitioning to Shadowfire 3 and I get a lot of support and a lot of comment and feedback here and there telling me uh, telling me all the positive and also all the recommendations and including some uh, per some builds recommendations for builds that I'll be doing later but because I'm just running beta for now I'm just gonna be running some betas and then I'll get back into some uh, deadly dangerous show so that you guys can also check out some builds as well. So we actually can have some varied contests because of the beta test right here. Now, for those of you guys who aren't with, with track of the beta, we know one thing, and that is that we have the arrow set. And another thing is, be just because we have the arrow set, people are thinking, well, the Valor set and the Shadow Artisan set is going to be there, right? Well, turns out that if we scroll down right here, since I'm in Shadow 4, there is no Valor set just yet. So that just gotta be get people spinning around and think about why is Valor set not there? Will that mean that will that mean that Shadow Artisan set will also not be there? Or is it some pre-version that the developers have given to us while the post version, the ones that's gonna come by in the update is gonna include the rest of the set? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they just want to reveal a little bit, or that's simply it, because uh, if we look down into the nasty abilities right here. Just filter that off you can see that we have a new perk called shadow kick and why do you say that well if you remove that and just scroll all the way down you can see that spurt is gone so basically spurt is gone to get replaced with shadow kick and what it does is there's a chance to replenish half the shadow bar when kicking so basically that's what it says but that's not what it really does I think what it actually does is half the damage that ideal from the kick will be shadow energy which is going to be significantly lowering the amount of shadow energy you get for free and in the form of an epic perk with a different fancy way of trying to interpret the way to get shadow energy from that. So you can pretty much say that spirit got replaced with shadow kick just because the spirit power is now limited with arrow set just so you guys are aware with that that the arrow set is now the spurt perk implemented into a set bonus that features rope darts and spike straps and also some fancy armor if you guys want to say so myself and this is one of the community voted sets so what do you guys think is this like is this some kind of uh, update where they explicitly change the dynasty faction or are there going to be something else in the in meanwhile because as far as i'm concerned this looks like for me that the developers are changing the dynasty of faction and about the spirit power specifically. So without anything else to say, if you want to figure out this Shadow Artisan or not, we I've almost killed my economy right here, and I'm at the end of chapter 4. I have to finish the final boss, which is on hard. So let's actually do that as we're speaking right there. And we're just gonna knock off the dynasty warlord, and we should already be good to go in this map right here. Alright. So we gotta be killing off that warlord real fast. Just do that. I'm going to a shotgun. Yes, you are. You're not gonna get past this very easily, my dude. Look at that. The fast kunai, man. The fast kunai is something you shouldn't regret. It's something you shouldn't regret. And also, yes, the katana is rolling ways. But I have my own combos for dealing with people with rolling waves. And just like that, we are finishing off warlord with elegance and grace of the heralds and also taking a little damage. Alright. Yeah, I was a little bit busy trying to uh, gain power because now at this point I pretty much have all the sets. I'm not that interested into collecting all of the sets using my gems. I'm more interested in to increase my power so I can actually figure out the rest of the things that I'm actually asking myself. Oh, dang. Okay. I'm gonna do that, do this, and then I think that should trigger slow-mo. Yes, it does. And we defeated the Warlord. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so we're on our way right here. 
there's only one question that remains, and that is if Shadow Artisan is there. And also, I almost forgot to mention this change. There's an, also another change made within the game right here, and that is that you can now, if we, well, as a herald, the critical charge now shows a token. If you guys are wondering, yes, the critical charge is actually showing a token. And what kind of token? You might be asking, well, it's a token that indicates the, how long your weapon is going to be heated up until it goes away or if you actually manage to land a hit using the crit charge, whether it's going to be the crit charge hit or the crit charge block breaker hit, which is a regular hit but block breaking. All right, we only two battles away, which I actually anticipated that we did so that you guys can actually check this out shortly. And now we got to confront Ling. We gotta confront Ling, which is also a character in Shadow Fight Arena. It's not lovely. And he also uses Shadow Slayer as well. It's not lovely, too. He's gonna be doing that. And he does a lot of damage, I must say. A lot of damage. Bro, what is that logic? What is that logic? No, man. I don't want to take that logic. So if you guys don't know what the token is right there, it's basically... It's basically uh, the crit charge, if you guys are wondering. Man, yep, I'm just being, I'm just being doubting right here at this point. I don't want to increase my power again because if I increase my power, then it's going to be very, very expensive. Or else you guys get a very entertaining video of me getting defeated by a bot, which is also something for content as well. Alright, come on. He has freaking deflection and all that stuff. You can also even drink a flask. Nope, not happening. Oh, that's a joke. Oh, are you actually joking me? Oh, okay. Let's do this. Alright, let's block that. Alright. Gotta space our timings out a little bit. And he also takes so little damage, I swear. He takes so little damage. Alright, do this. Do this again? Do I really have to do the the old time fable for that throw? Or am I actually gonna get defeated just like that? Bruh. I and I, and the second thing happens to me. The second thing happens to me. I don't want to increase my power, man. I don't want to. I never want to. But if I find it too hard to beat Ling, then I have to, and that's just gonna kill my economy right here. Unless I play events, that is, and spam that off for a living. Oh my goodness. At least it doesn't uh, exhale the content of the flask. Let me tell you that much, because that won't be happy for me. Alright. Yeah, I gotta keep it preoccupied with my own spacing tactics right here. Yes! Alright. We're gone somewhere right here. We're gone somewhere. Yes, we actually got him somewhere. I think so, at least. Yeah, he ain't drinking from his flask anymore. And now he did. Okay. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. No, I ain't taking that chance. I'm not gonna take that chance. Never. Man, if I had transfusion and also the, if I actually had a accumulator build, I think that should work. But he has a very defensive build, so I think I, so I think if I do have an accumulator build, I'll just use a judge set. Well, I don't even want to bother using that set after all. Oh my God, that did you guys see that? It both missed. Oh, I actually knocked him out like that. Nice. Although I don't know how that how long that will last. Yep. Uh, now rolling the wrong way. I'm rolling the wrong way. Rolling back and I just get stabbed. My goodness, man. Am I actually gonna be passing freaking Ling? Hold on right here. Am I actually gonna be passing Ling? After all of this? Let me see right here. What kind of perks do I have? Nah, they, th those ain't even perks. They just straightforward. Okay, great. Looks like I have to refresh and maybe kill my economy if I want to beat this once and for all. That's what I. That's what I have to say. 
Oh my goodness, it's never gonna look on my expense account, let me tell you that much. This body deflection, so that we can actually have some defenses for this. And then the purple pillar, no. That's gonna cost, oh, 257. I actually thought it's gonna cost a lot more than that. All right, let me do this. Purple peeler. Let's just actually wear this set and add our perks. Let me see right here. Still on insane, but I want to take less damage and also deal some damage. So I'm not sure if I want to consider purple peeler just yet because that costs him 505 gems. All right, let me actually do it. <laughs> Joke's on you. I actually did. All right, so now we got increased power by 200 on the sword right there, and now it says hard. All right, perhaps we can take our link this way. I am not 100% sure, but we gotta give it a try, anyways, because I used most of my stuff. I used most of my stuff, and just want to get past this with what happens to be. And turn out to be a lot of burden for me. All right, now it's actually easier to deal with laying out. At least I need less strikes. Although Iido yeah, Katana seems to be more fitting for this circumstance right here, fighting against the Katana guy, who is meant to put me on a distance so that he can drink his flask. Because whenever I put him distance, he always wants to drink his flask. That's what I actually did notice while I'm playing it right now. Yep, and just like that. And I just get hit straight forward because I wasn't patient. Alright, let me see what you do. Yeah, I'm dodging that. Nope, I'm not taking a hit from there. And you literally drinking more of that, don't you? Alright, let me tell you one thing. You gotta get the critical hit. Do that. And he also hits me very badly. Alright, do this. Yes, sir. Not afford to lose any battles right now. I don't want to delay any of this. And now we should be good to go. There we go. Man, that final slash right there actually fooled me a little bit because I actually thought I finished him. Let's make sure that this day is gonna be worthwhile, okay? Let's make sure that this day is gonna be worthwhile and also just gonna be telling guys that we're 50 subs away from actually reaching the farm to go, which in which I will be doing face reveal and perhaps face face cam videos and all of that good stuff and why 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 would you want to do that okay no you're not gonna drink more of that nope oh, I've had the judge said maybe I could have done something and he does that and I'm pretty much knocked out aren't I yep all right all right then bot you truly are putting yourself into corners where you own the advantage. You truly do that. But I'm here to pass this. Alright, let's see what happens though. Can I do this? Yeah, get that drink off. And you're still drinking again. Why? This is the this is what 50% of the trouble is. Alright, let me see. And he pushes me back with that with the backslash. That's also one thing that bothers me a little. He does a little damage over there, and also gets that. Nope, you're not allowed to drink more. I literally forbid that because I want to get past this. Okay, it's like a apothic barrier fooled me again. But there we go, finally. At least I think I spent less than a thousand for just those two weapons, if I'm uh, not concerned. But we're finally reaching level 13, in which we're going to be discovering chapter 5. And what else can I say, dude? What else can I say? So now, this world will load on here, but only on the wing and a prayer. La 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 la. I already did this, okay? Let's see how many megabytes it is for chapter 5. 57. Alright, be right back. Alright, treasures of the past. And uh, let me see. Okay, apparently it's not part of the set right there, as I'm concerned. Let me look over here to figure that all out. Alright, collect this. And Herald's Legendary, and that's the answer. Okay, so sadly, unfortunately, guys, none of those sets showing up, none of those other sets showing up. So that's your conclusion right there if you guys want to know that. 
So that's chapter five, pretty much. And after that, and after that, there's not really, there's not really anything left after that, or is it? Some are questioning whether or not this is gonna be some content, some new content about new weapon, Chishaku being there. But as far as I'm, I understand this update that they're testing right here, the content of this update, there are, they are just modifying the Dynastian faction as far as I'm concerned so that's pretty much all we got to know right there if I'm not mistaken right there I tapped on that offer and it is not a part of the Shadow Artisan set but yet again you can still ask yourself if this is really what is gonna show up or they're going to add more in the update because they don't want to re reveal everything and let us know the rest of the sets if you guys want me to review the arrow because I actually speculated maybe I'll do or maybe I'll don't but if you guys want to be sure to let me know because I still want to decide for myself also whether to do this or not to actually show the arrow set while in the beta development right here as you're speaking because now we know that only the arrow set is there this one but not the shadow artisan and neither the valor set so I don't know if we're gonna be waiting any longer for those because it turns out that we have to given that there aren't that many features that are been added into this beta version right here so we get expel marauders we get those sheepish offers but really I'm just gonna be I just gonna be stopping right there because that is one of the questions I was just asking and if you guys want me to continue the beta because now I'm just gonna be going back to school and upload videos after I'm done with all all the work and stuff like that and until then until then guys I'll be checking out <laughs> a little bit a little bit around because they, they aren't really they aren't really that much they just aren't so when I get I just gotta get on to school because now every day is about school and stuff and also get and also done with homework and then make a video all of that stuff but be sure be sure because we got 50 subs left we actually got 50 subs left before we do the ultimate face reveal on the founder sub mark right there so be sure to help me around getting that if you guys can that'll be pretty much appreciated this has been Boston Modern Beta to check out a little bit whether it was true that the rest of the sets were not included and as it turns out yes so the conclusion so far for from this video unless there's anything I else I find is one the developers have mainly focused on the dynasty of faction, changing the power of the spirit, limiting it to one set called the arrow, and replace spirit with with shadow kick, and in which that perk doesn't work as it was supposed to. And uh, pretty much number two is that Herald's crit charge now has a token that shows the timer of the of the, how long the weapon is heated up. That's pretty much all. I got all new I got to know from this small update right here so it looks like a small update it's nothing that big major pretty much uh, people might have been expecting something something new some something new from the Roma 2020 well this is kind of part of the Roma 2020 but it's nothing major to say the least unfortunately so that's gonna be it for this video guys I hope you guys did enjoy and if you guys did be sure to hit that like button to share the support and if you new and enjoy my overall content be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you'll become a part of the boss modern community where I play fun beta tests like this one fun games dangerous shows events and with builds and share you guys some more news after we go through all of this so stay tuned for some more videos right there guys and I'll and I'll catch you guys until then